March 8th, International Women's Day. We are moving on to a PowerPoint presentation in connection with this special day and let's know how women contributed to the world of physics. Women contributed to physics from Laura Bazi in 1732 to Andrea Getz in 2022. Laura Bazi Laura Maria Caterina Bazi was an Italian physicist. She was recognized and depicted as Minerva. She was the second woman in the world to earn the degree of Doctor of Philosophy and the first woman to have a doctorate in science. She became the first female university professor in the world. Bassi became the most important popularizer of Newtonian mechanics in Italy. She took up the chair of experimental physics in 1776, the position she held until her death. Marie Curie Marie Curie was a Polish and naturalized French physicist and chemist who conducted pioneering research on radioactivity. She was born on 7th of November 1867 and died on July 4, 1934. She was the first woman to win a Nobel Prize, the first and the only woman to win the Nobel Prize twice and the only person to win the Nobel Prize in two scientific fields. And she was awarded with Nobel Prize in Chemistry, Davy Medal, etc. Emmy Nader Emmy Nader and Anneli Emmy Nader was a German mathematician who made many important contributions to abstract algebra. Born on 23rd of March 1882, died on 14 April 1935. Her nationality, she is a German, awards are Eckermann Tabernacle Memorial Awards, known for abstract algebra, theoretical physics, Northhurst theorem, Northurian rings, Lasker Noether theorem. Irene Joliet Curie, born on 12 September 1897, she was died on 17 March 1956. She was a French chemist, physicist, and a politician. She was awarded the Nobel Prize in Chemistry in 1935 for the discovery of artificial radioactivity, the eldest daughter of Marie Curie and Perry Curie, and wife of Frederick Joliet Curie. She discovered the first ever artificially created radioactive atoms, paving the way for innumerable medical advances, especially in the fight against cancer. Lise Mitner Austrian Swedish physicist, born on 7 November 1878 and died on 27 October 1968, contributed to the discoveries of the element proctonasium and nuclear fission while working at the Kaiser Wilhelm Institute on Radioactivity. She discovered the radioactive isotope proctonium 231 in 1970. In 1938, Meitner and nephew physicist Otto Robert Frisch discovered nuclear fission. Completing her doctoral research in 1905, Meitner became the first woman from the University of Vienna and second in the world to earn a doctorate in physics. She spent most of her scientific career in Berlin, Germany, where she was a physics professor and a department head at the Kaiser Wilhelm Institute. She was the first woman to become a full professor of Germany she lost these positions in 1930 because of the anti-Jewish Neuber laws of Nazi Germany and in 1938 she fled to Sweden where she lived for many years ultimately becoming a Swedish citizen. Valentina Tereshkova Valentina Tereshkova was the first woman in space orbiting the earth 48 times in Vostok 6 in 1963. She orbited the Earth for almost three days, showing that women have the same ability in space as men. Tereshkova was born on March 6, 1937 in Volga River Viltage of Masilinikovo, Russia. She is engineer, pilot in Air Force. Tereshkova later toured the world to promote Soviet science and become involved in Soviet politics. She retired from the Air Force in 1997, having attained the rank of a Major General. She was twice awarded the Order of Lenin. Tereshkova remains active in space community. Aileen Galloway 
Aileen Gillaway was an American researcher and editor. She was born in 1906, May 4. She was often called the Green Dame of Physics and described as an influential force in the development and analysis of domestic and international space law and policy. She worked for several decades on the United Nations Committee on the Peaceful Uses of Outer Space and was editor of Space Law Senate Symposium. She was the founding member of International Institute of Space Law. She played a part of the creation of the Agency for the American Space Explorative. She died on 2009, May 2. Jill Tatto Jill Cornell Tatter, born on January 16, 1944, is an American astronomer best known for her work on the search for extraterrestrial intelligence. Tatter is the former director of the Center for SETI Research, holding the Bernard M. Oliver Chair for SETI at SETI Institute. Tatter serves on the management board for the Alien Telescope Array, a massive instrument that will eventually include 350 antennas and that has already increased the speed and spectral range of the Hun for signals by order of magnitude. In 2002, Discover magazine recognized her as one of the 50 most important women in physics. Jocelyn Bell Burnell Dame Susan Jocelyn Bell Burnell, who was the first female president of the Institute of Physics, born in 15 July 1943, Lurgan, UK. She is an astrophysicist from Northern Ireland who was a postgraduate student, discovered the first radio pulsars in 1967. The discovery was recognized by the award of 1974 Nobel Prize in Physics but despite being the first person to discover the pulsars she was not one of the recipient of the prize She served as president of Royal Astronomical Society from 2002 to 4 and as a president of Institute of Physics from 2008 10 She was created with one of the significant achievement in 20th century special breakthrough prize in fundamental physics in 2018 royal medal in 2015 gold medal of royal astronomical society and so on was the award backed by her Peggy N8 Whitson is an American biochemistry researcher retired NASA astronaut and former NASA chief astronaut born on 9 to 1960 in Mount Air Lowe's US after completion of her 8th EVA in March 2017 Whitson holds the record for the oldest women space walker Sir Pausing Sunita Williams. In 2017, Whitson became the first female to command International Space Station twice. She broke the record for cumulative total days spent in space by a NASA astronaut more than 534 days. In 2017, she broke the record of Samantha Christofariti for the longest single space flight by a woman with 289 days in orbit. Whitson returned to Earth on September 3, 2017, having accrued a total of 665 days in space over the course of her career. The hypothetical round trip to Mars, making her NASA's most experienced astronaut to date. On June 15, 2018, Whitson announced her retirement from the agency effective on the same day. Thank you and have a nice day.